Well, welcome everybody uh, to the Art of Sherlock Holmes and another artist interview. Today it is Nune Asatran, and we uh, are live with uh, Nune in uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, how's the weather today, Nune? Weather is good. It's always good in Florida, you know. Yeah. Well, we um, cool, which we're happy about. As I said, as I said to Andy yesterday, the closest I get to West Palm Beach is to wear my West Palm Beach T-shirt. Um, it's raining here in London. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to dive straight into uh, your art and just ask, ask you really, who are your biggest inspirations in terms of your art? Hi, Steve. Thank you uh, for having me here. Um, the biggest inspiration of my art, it's... Um, I start very early because I'm coming from artist family. So uh, the art was only, only the profession I had all my life. So um, as a child um, working on studio, my dad's studio with the huge sculptures in there, it was very influenced. So I could say my first influence were my father mm -hmm. who was a monumental sculptor. And also I have, um, really big passion for cultures, for world cultures. So my room as a kid was full of posters from Egyptian art, from Greek art, classics. And um, that was actually my first inspiration. Um, and then contemporary art, uh, as an old artist, um, they, they changed through, through their art career. And yes, I could say a few names of artists I like, um, would be Max Ernst, uh, it's, it's interesting artist, one of my uh, amazing, I always rediscover him um, and, and find something new in his art. Um, Anselm Kiefer, actually, German artist, one of my favorite, and it's very eclectic. You can say, oh, that's totally different artist. Yes, it is. And um, Frank Stella, I love three-dimensional art. I'm sculptor, by the way, it's, it's uh, one of my degrees. And I, I'm a multi-dimensional artist now. I jump from sculpting to painting really easy. Um, oh, we, obviously, we had to do painting for this book because, uh, and, and I think there are three, three or four sculptors in, uh, that have created paintings for the book that are multi-dimensional. But most of the artists in the book are, are, are just straight, straight, straight painters. Um, if we could jump onto your, your own art, have you got any particular favorites? I'm going to pull up some of your, your, your art as, we, as we're talking here, Nene. Uh, so if we jump onto the, the, the first piece here, um, called Ancient, Ancient Legend. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yes, it's Ancient Legend. Again, it's based on mythology, history, theology. That's my interest. Uh, my mom was head of library and that was another influence. I was reading a lot, which actually connects to Sherlock Holmes as well, but that's later. Um, yeah, it's ancient angel, uh, legend, which in every mythology, it has a um, myth about um, big flat and, and how humanity changed and how it came back in different level and what we have uh, abilities for our self-development. It's all, um, this painting represent that concept. Okay. And, and, and the next piece here is uh, called uh, Immortality. Uh, you said you, before we were talking, you were saying this is one of your favorites. Yes, that's, that's one of my favorite. It's in collection of uh, one of my favorite people um, in totally different side of the world. And uh, yes, Immortality is one of the longest pieces I worked in my life. Um, it was put away and came back for it. And it has connection of everything in the world. Like all my paintings pretty much showing like birth view. Um, I, like, I like to see things from above as a big picture. I think these paintings represents that more. It also has a, probably they don't see the textures. It's a lot of textures. You see the figures underneath, they all texturize, they sculpt it. And, yes. uh, yeah, when, I, when I looked at your profile, I was looking through your art, I was, I was amazed by, by the layers that you have in your, in your work. So you, when you look at it initially as a picture, you think, oh, that's a flat painting. Uh, but, but a lot of your work is quite a lot of levels in them as well. 
Yes, it is. And it has an old sculptural element because I cannot help it. <laughs> it's just got three dimensional. Yeah. It comes up and, and, you know, it's going. But um, with, with, my, um, with being an artist at this stage of my life, I'm leaning like many others, many classics I've uh, studied uh, and, and contemporary artists going towards minimalism. So all these mm -hmm. layers um, thinning and it's becoming more essence of one thing instead of layers. Uh, my friends were joking, said, can you do one painting on one canvas, not 10? Back in the time I said, no, that's the old concept to, to, to build that dimension. But now it's uh, one of my favorite, that's more re decent. And you see the, the difference in, in this painting. Uh, this, uh, this one. Uh, of all the ones you show me, this this one I love. I could, I could see oh, this. You. I absolutely love this. I could see this uh, being together on a wall, but I could also see this being split. Yes. Is that is that something you're comfortable with? I, I was actually. I like yeah. my paintings being interactive, and and okay. when I do many panels, it's totally up to the um, collector or buyer. Um, yeah. To the way to to hang them, they could they could be creative with that because it's a personal space and you you can build a personal space depends on your view. I don't like people asking sometimes, what do you mean by this painting? You know, I like to listen how they feel about this painting, about the mood and feeling when they look at that painting. You know, everyone has to kind of reflect them ideas. And is this one layered? This one looked layered to me. Yes, yes, it yeah. is layered. Yeah. Yeah. It has that same uh, sculpted um, background uh, with, with the figures. By the way, they're not just um, nothing. Those are the figures you see. Very yeah. figures, abstractly, but they represent humans and animals and, and so on. And, and jumping through to, to this one, um, this one to me didn't look layered. This looked flat. Am I wrong? Yes. Yes. Yeah, this, though, I do also, I did etching, aqua tint. This was uh, original work, which later on became uh, printed. Uh, you know, I love paper. I love working on paper, experimenting. And I have quite a few in my website. You can see um, it's graphic work. It's, it's, it's on the paper. Well, I wanted to get onto this one um, before we before we talk a little bit about. Yes, it. I'm Armenian. <laughs> yeah, 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 so again, proud, my second my second favorite uh, behind the chains. Uh, this one, um, again, I, I my brain would want to split it and put a bit of gap in between it, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, this so this is a, a Armenian symbol, you said. Yes, this is symbol of Armenia. It's my interpretation. You know, I'm fascinated with. Um, symbols i love i love uh, what they represent i like to, it's it's one symbol and i always compare that with the latin old latin language which um, i was uh, studying at some time as an artist because i think it's one word in latin represent all sentences in other languages so yeah. symbolism it's kind of for me that you know it's it's, it's and this represents everything what's happened with the country what's um and I'm very proud Armenian and uh, the, the changes we have now in there, it's very, very, uh, you know, uplifting. And it's, uh, you know, I'm visiting this year Armenia with, with some of my artist friends and very happy about that. So yes, this is my interpretation of Armenian uh, symbol. Fantastic. Now, obviously we, we um, can't show the full piece of art from the art of Sherlock Holmes that you've done uh, because it's still very secret. And we're keeping that until the until the book is available. And it, as we were talking about before, even the authors don't know which story uh, there's been done. But we're going to show a little glimpse of your of your piece of art here. It's actually on its side uh, to make it even more complicated because it's it's actually horizontal. But we've put it on its side here uh, just to, so we can show a little bit more of it uh, in the uh, uh, today. Um, so. Uh, I, I really felt a lot of symbolism when I saw this piece. How did you how did you find the experience of writing to a piece of uh, fiction? So you were given a story, a Sherlock Holmes story, and you had to create a piece of art. Did you did you enjoy that? What was it like? 
I did. I did enjoy that. Um, I, I've done that before. Uh, back in the time long ago, I was working with magazines, and I was it, I wasn't I was an illustrator. I was mostly coming with the concept and not illustrating things. This is also I didn't. Uh, I, I don't feel like I illustrate the book, but again, I was as a symbolist there, getting essence of it and the feeling of of old story which was a beautiful story, nicely, very nicely written. And I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. In, in yeah, that. We, we do think that maybe um, one or two of the authors might guess which is their artist from seeing a little bit of the art. So we don't know if the author that wrote uh, this story knows and has guessed, because it's very difficult to tell. So we've shown everybody this kind of glimpse of all 15 pieces of art, but um, uh, as far as we know, nobody's guessed which is their piece of art, but um, it's possible because in, in some of the pictures, there's some very iconic uh, items or, or things from the story that are in the picture. We've tried not to show those uh, so that it keeps the mystery and the, uh, and the excitement going. So I guess the final question uh, I, would, I would give really is, um, uh, we're going to be having the gallery uh, opening on the 9th of May. So all the pieces of art are going to come together at the Ann Arbor studio in, in West Palm Beach. And uh, Nene, are you, going to, are you going to be able to come along on the 9th of May? Absolutely. I will come and bring some friends and bring my, you know, uh, clients. It will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. Absolutely. And then on the 25th of May, we're going to get everybody together um uh, again at the gallery and also um at under short stepping stone so we're going to have a, an evening of, of of fun and entertainment uh uh, uh at undershore and then we're going to cut live via video to to west palm so hopefully on the 25th we'll be able to meet with you and all the other artists and we'll see the first the, the pieces of art there um the, the uh, we have to give a shout out as we do in all the interviews to to the guy that made this all happen which is phil growick uh, he's conceived and curated this uh, 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 project of fantastic idea. And thank you so much for your time this afternoon, uh, Nene. And uh, we'll look forward to meeting you soon in, in West Park. Pleasure was mine. Thank you.